Welcome to Bits of Blunder. I'm here with my boy Richard. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas indeed. Today I'm going to show you how to do some stuff with typography. In fact, Merry Christmas. I'm going to show you how to do this type in Blender. Uh, this sort of type where you've got a nice white outline, a drop shadow, or something. You might use a program like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop or GIMP or whatever to do it, but you could do it in Blender too. We're going to show you how. Pop open Blender. <laughs> <laughs> Catch phrase right. there. <laughs> Let's look at this from the top. I'm going to add some text and do Mary. Orthographic. There you go. Now I'm going to add the font. In Blender, you have to actually go and find the actual font outline which on Windows is, I think, by default in the Windows Fonts directory. So many fonts. So little time. Uh, we're going to pick Trajan, because that's the movie font. Everyone loves the movie font. Everybody. So uh, let's throw a material on here and make it red. A Christmassy red. And I'll make it shadeless. And then I'll do Control Alt Number Pad Zero to move the camera. And I'm going to make this an orthographic camera, just so there's no distortion on the text as I'm working with it. And then uh, you can adjust the scale of the camera here. We really don't need the light because we made this shadeless. And uh, I'll go ahead and shift D along the Y. We'll make Christmas. And then uh, throw another material on here. Make this one green. Forest green. Nice foresty green. There we go. All right. And uh, it's already shapeless because I duplicated the previous material. I'm just going to move this up. <laughs> because he's OCD. <laughs> and uh, so what we need to do is go into the compositor. So let's just use the screen layout compositing and uh, select use nodes. And then I'm going to select backdrop. So when we render it, we'll see the backdrop. In fact, I'll go ahead and render it right now. And we don't see the backdrop because... We need a viewer node, which, so there we see our backdrop. Now, we want this to, to go on top of a video or an image or whatnot. So uh, we need this to be transparent. So let's switch over to the shading panel, switch the alpha to transparent. And then when we give it a render, See, we've got a transparent now. And I'm going to, so we know what this looks like. I'm going to go and just do shift space in here so we have a little bit more room. Some breathing room in there. <laughs> so the first thing I want to do is I want to draw the white outline around this. And to do that, I'm going to take this text and, and make it... Uh, dilate it? Dilate it, yeah. <laughs> Hint. Just heavy it up, as we used to say in the old type days. And uh, to do that, we get our filter. We did. I did a Shift A to add it. And I'll go ahead and put that in here. And now I could just do a Control-Shift-Click. Or is it a Control-Click for our viewer? Of course, if I selected our viewer, that would change the node to it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a viewer node for each step of the way so that we can see very easily the steps that we're doing. Because sometimes with the node editor, it looks more complicated than it really is. When you're building it, it's, it's not bad at all. But being able to see each step makes it a little bit easier. Uh, I'll set the dilate to distance, and you can see how much it heavies up that type. 
So I'll go ahead and add two. And I don't really want to use the image off of here because you can see how the different shades from the red and the green. I'm going to take the alpha and work with the alpha. Now what I want to do is I want to take this mask and I want to convert that actually to uh, an alpha. Set alpha. There you go. <laughs> so I'm going to connect this to the alpha part because that's what I'm taking is this mask. I'm taking it into the alpha and then I'm going to change the color. I'm just going to use white because I want a white outline, but you could put any color in here now. And I'll shift DR viewer. And then, oops. Let me connect that up here. That was the shortcut over there. Shortcut. <laughs> Make it longer. So now you can see that we've got some nice white text with it. With, and we want to merge it with our color text. So I'm going to do an alpha over. And then I'll just duplicate this again. And make sure we click the, uh, the convert pre-multiply and then bring the image over. And there we've got a nice white outline of our text. Very nice. So uh, it's also important to remember that in Blender with these nodes, this image is drawn first, then this image is drawn. So even though this is the bo bottom socket for this node, it uh, is what's going to be drawn last, so it will be what's on top. <laughs> Think of it as the second, the second drawn image instead of the bottom one. Yeah. Or the and uh, now I want to put a drop shadow on there. And I'm going to use some of the same stuff here. So I'm just going to duplicate these. Shift D and bring it down. And then uh, let's move our viewers below here. And we'll take our alpha in again. So we're grabbing that alpha. And this time I'm going to just make it a black drop shadow. Again, you can make it any color you want. Shadows are usually on the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel normal. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, what am I adding next? Uh, I need to, uh, I need to blur, blur this image. Yeah. So let's go to the blur. And let's see. So we need a viewer so we can see this step easily. There you go. And uh, we can uh, dilate this a little more. So then our shadow is a little heavier too. Mm -hmm. And lastly, let's not forget the shadows are usually offset. So we need to do a translate. translate. Yeah. And let's move it five over and then down five and I'll just duplicate this again and you can see how the shift when I go from one to the other now lastly we, we need to bring it together with this uh, with this image let's do an alpha over again and then we want this one on bottom it's nice the way Blender shif shifts that for us. Convenient. Yeah. Very convenient. And there you go. Very so, nice. So now it's real easy to bring this into the sequencer and, uh, and position it. So I'm going to do shift space to get out of this again. And uh, I'll come over here to video editing. And first I'm going to add the movie. And I stuck that on my desktop. And you can see how the, the audio and video are a little off sync. So that's because this video was 
is at 29.97 frames per second and Blender's default is uh, 24. So we'll just change that on our frame rate. And then that lines up nicely. And then uh, I'm just gonna come over here to the end of our video and set the end of our timeline by hitting E. In fact, I'm gonna have it just a little bit shorter. There we go. I'll come back to frame one and I'll do a shift A, add. This time I'm gonna add our scene. And you can see there's our Merry Christmas but we can't see the uh, video under it until we set the blend to alpha over. Now, you're not going to see the effects of the compositor until after it renders it. So if we were to just uh, render just this frame, you see there's our Merry Christmas. And when you render out the, the video, you can render it to a variety of formats, uh, but we were having a little trouble with some of the synchronization, we actually found the uh, Og Vorbis settings to be the uh, I love that best. word. <laughs> it's actually two words. So uh, <laughs> so here, Og Theora, and then for the uh, uh, encoding, I just chose that, and then I chose Vorbis for the auto audio and rendered it out. There you go. There you go. So. That's kind of a nice way to do text right in Blender. You have a lot of control with the dilate and uh, erode and, and the, using the compositor, doing effects. So, hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. One, two, three. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh count. Yeah. Okay, try again. Are you going to count? Merry Christmas. <laughs> here, here. I'm just going to keep recording. Okay, one, two, three. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Try it again. The dog is barking. Okay. Oh, you know what? This, this is... Come on, man. Okay. Hey guys, let me, let me put Charlie in really quick. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Merry <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> One, two, you got something three. Every you do. Okay, go. <laughs> okay, go over. Count. One, two, three. Merry Christmas. Okay, is that good? Yeah.